Welcome back to True Host Academy. Today we're going to dive into something super useful, how to create your very own SMTP mail server using cPanel. If you've ever wanted to manage your emails more efficiently, this is the video for you. So let's get started. First things first, we need to log into our cPanel account. You can usually do this by typing in your domain name followed by slash cPanel into your web browser. Once you're at the login screen, enter your username and password. Great. Now that we're logged in, let's move on to the next step creating an email account that we'll use for our SMTP server. In your cPanel dashboard, scroll down to the email section and click on email accounts. Here we'll set up a new email account specifically for our SMTP server. Choose a name for your email, set a strong password, and then click create. And just like that, we have our email account ready to go. Next, let's configure the SMTP settings. Go back to email accounts. Find the email we just created and click on connect devices. This will give us all the information we need to configure our SMTP server. Here you'll see the incoming and outgoing server details. For SMTP, you'll want to note the outgoing server, SMTP settings. Typically, you'll use your domain name as the server address. Also, take note of the port numbers. 587 for a secure connection with TLS or 465 for SSL. To keep everything secure, we need to enable authentication for our SMTP server. This ensures that only authorized users can send emails through our server. In your email client or application, make sure to enter your full email address as the username and the password you created earlier. Remember to select the option that says My Outgoing Server, SMTP, requires authentication. This step is crucial to prevent unauthorized access. Now, let's make sure everything is working perfectly. Open up your email client, compose a new email, email and send it using your new SMTP server settings. Awesome! If everything's set up correctly, you should see your test email arrive in your inbox without any issues. And if something doesn't work right away, don't worry, I've got a few troubleshooting tips to help you out. There are two common SMTP errors you might encounter. One. Error 421, too many concurrent SMTP connections. If you receive this error, it means the server is handling too many SMTP connections at once. To fix this, you can increase the connection limit by adjusting the SMTP underscore accept underscore max value in the XM configuration manager within WHM. Just be careful not to set it too high, as this could cause the server to run out of memory and crash. 2. Error 550, please turn on SMTP authentication. This error usually occurs when there's an issue with SMTP authentication. It can be caused by 1. Misconfigured SMTP client authentication. Ensure your email client is using the correct authentication settings. If you're using an older client, consider enabling the pop before SMTP option in WAM to allow SMTP connections for clients that have previously authenticated with pop or IMAP. 2. Incorrect email routing. If the error happens when trying to send an email to an account on your server, check the domain's MX record and routing configuration in WayHM. Make sure local mail exchanger is selected and that the MX records point to the correct IP address. And that's it. You've successfully created an SMTP mail server using cPanel. Now you can send and manage your emails with ease. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching True Host Academy, and I'll see you in the next video.